Using a visible energy web portal, it's possible to manage energy consumption for all your visible energy products, even if they are in different locations, and all using a web browser. Uh, this is the dashboard of the visible energy web portal as it appears after you log into your service account. Uh, you can see here a summary for energy demand, a summary for cost of this unit, and then below for each socket, the uh, setting uh, for that socket, the status if it's on or off, and the demand for that socket at this uh, time. Uh, for instance, in this case, this uh, UFO uh, current demand is for 515 watts. Uh, next to it is a chart of energy demand in the last hour. You can see how in this chart this uh, uh, line has different colors. Uh, they correspond to the colors of the sockets in the UFO. Uh, in the last hour, uh, this UFO has used 148 uh, watt hour of energy. Uh, next to the uh, energy pane is the cost summary and you have a summary of cost uh, uh, broken down socket by socket and also as a total. And here is the cost for today, yesterday, uh, comparison between uh, yesterday and today as well as uh, uh, this week, last week and comparison between last week and this week. Uh, below is each uh, socket name, this is a coffee machine Roll is neutral, there are no timers, and uh, currently this socket is uh, on. To turn it off, we just click on, on this uh, button here. And this is the orange socket, it has no schedule and currently uh, has 4 watts of demand. Uh, to change roll, you can click on here and change it to master, for instance. Or if you want to set a new timer, you can do so from directly from here and, and defining a, a new time of the day to turn this socket on or off. For more details on energy demand, you get a very uh, detailed information on energy demand of each socket of this UFO uh, as information is acquired by the server every five minutes. Uh, this chart is a detailed energy demand socket by socket uh, in the last 24 hours. You can get this information for the last uh, week and uh, you can also uh, do so for last month. Uh, down below is the total energy consumption socket by socket uh, for the period in the chart. So in this case for the last month coffee machine used 24 uh, kilowatt hour point 57. Uh, you can zoom into this chart by uh, grabbing a period inside and, and then even go uh, very uh, uh, deep into details and you can see how uh, uh, this energy information socket by socket is acquired by the server every five minutes. As for the uh, last hour summary, energy charts in every line has a different color corresponding uh, to the color of the socket in the UFO. This uh, energy uh, chart uh, data can be exported into a comma separated file. Uh, at every uh, energy uh, time range, uh, you can export uh, the five minute energy consumption uh, for each socket in that time range. It's also possible to get more details uh, regarding the cost of this uh, UFO and in particular this is a comparison between cost of UFO between yesterday and today broken down hour by hour. This is the cost of today and yesterday and here below is the total cost for today of this UFO has been 34 cents and it's been 3.86 cents more uh, than yesterday. And this is uh, also, this information is available uh, for uh, last week and this week. Total cost of this UFO this week has been uh, $2.17. It's been an increase of 7 cents uh, uh, compared to last week. And this same Detail of cost information is available for month, for this month, and last month. And here is a day by day in the in the chart columns. And down below is the total cost for uh, this month in comparison with last month, increase of 37 cents and the same uh, socket by socket. Uh, below is also information on schedules of each socket. This uh, water fountain, for instance, you turn on only between 9 a.m. and 9 p.m. 
and so is the refrigerator uh, for this UFO. If you have multiple units, you can select the unit uh, uh, you want to connect to from this menu up here. I'm now connecting to a monostrip, which is a smart socket. It's a single socket that also has built-in environmental sensors for temperature and humidity. Uh, the last reading of these uh, sensors were 70.6 Fahrenheit degree for temperature and 19.6% uh, for relative humidity. If you want to have more details on the sensor readings for this unit, you can do so here. And uh, the information on this chart includes uh, temperature in Fahrenheit for the last 24 hours at five minute interval, as well as relative humidity, a grain of water per pound of air, and the temperature of the dew point every five minutes for these units. Uh, as for energy details, this information is also available for different time ranges, and you can uh, zoom into the chart and oh, as well as export this environmental data for the time period in the chart. Uh, a feature available for both UFOs and Monostrip is uh, the ability to set an alert and receive an email or SMS when a certain level of the sensor is uh, reached or a certain power is higher or lower than a value. You can also at the same time turn on or off a socket. For instance, uh, here we are uh, checking for a temperature of this uh, monostrip socket uh, to uh, be uh, higher or lower than 66 and 70 degree. If it's lower than 66 degrees, uh, then we turn on the space heater that is plugged into this uh, monostrip. And if it's higher than 70 Fahrenheit, then we switch it off. You can also notice how this uh, monostrip has a schedule to uh, keep the socket uh, powered only between 9 a.m. and 9 p.m. Uh, this way, we, we run a, a space heater thermostat, if you like, uh, using uh, the uh, web uh, portal for visible energy. Well, thank you uh, for listening. Uh, please check our website for more information on our product.